What is up guys, Stealthmaster Craig here, coming back at you with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of my new dorm room here at Naval Air Station Pensacola. Now, before you guys start commenting, what are you doing at Naval Station? I'm actually here doing uh, further on training. So I just finished my training over at Goodfellow, and now I got transferred here for some advanced training. So uh, kudos on me, I get to do some more training, not even operational yet. Um, Another cool thing, I hit my year mark this month, July 29th is my official one year mark in the military, so if you guys want to hit that thumbs up button or you know, wish me congratulations or something in the comments, by all means feel free to do that. But uh, I'm making this video to give you a tour of this room. Now for some disclaimers, this room is a prior service, it's in a prior service dorm. So if you're coming here prior service, you might stay in this exact dorm or your dorm room might look similar to this. If you're coming here as a pipeliner or you know you're coming here for training and stuff like that, your dorm room might be similar to this, but it might differ in different ways. Like you might not have a TV, you might not have a microwave, all those little things. But uh, stick through the video, get to know this room because most of the dorms on base are similar to this. So uh, I hope this video helps you out in getting to know uh, what type of stuff maybe you want to pack or something you want to bring and how much you want to bring. Maybe everything you want to bring will fit in the room. So uh, that's the reason why I'm making this video, to help you guys out and to help everybody out who's coming here. Um, and another little thing, uh, this base is actually the home of the Blue Angels. So hopefully, maybe in the future, maybe I might get to record some footage of them like flying around, doing some kind of training and stuff like that. So uh, cross your fingers, maybe, hopefully I'll get that. And maybe I'll get a better camera to film that with. But uh, enough of me jabbering on, let's get on to the dorm tour. That's what everybody came to this video for, right? So let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so here we are at the front door. You're gonna come in the front door and immediately you're gonna see a nice little kitchen area. You got a sink, uh, you got some cabinets to put some uh, bowls and you know different things in. So just for an example, we have like a bowl and some spoons and some coffee and all that. Uh, you have a microwave, so you can microwave things. Um, I don't know the rules in the other dorms, but the rules in this dorm is you're not allowed to have any hot plates, like no heating material. So you can't have a coffee pot, you can't have a hot plate to cook anything with. So whatever you want to make has to go in the microwave. Um, so let's move on. Uh, once you walk straight down the hallway, you're going to have the two rooms, uh, A room and B room. So that's my roommate's room and this is mine. So as you can see, the size is kind of small, but you get your own living space and that's awesome. And I'll show you some more details that they added into this room to make it look a little bit bigger than what it is. And uh, to your right over here, you're going to have a full stand-up mirror. So that's cool. You get to look look at yourself, make sure you, you're uh, in regs before you leave for the morning. And then to your right, you're going to have a nice bathroom here. Uh, got a nice countertop right there. A uh, nice full-size window, medicine cabinet. You know, you got some storage under there. Then you're going to have a toilet bowl and a full-size shower. So you're going to have a shower and a bathtub, you know, if you want to take a bath or something like that. And you're going to have two towel racks because there's two people living here. So uh, I guess you got to work out, like, a, a bathroom schedule with your roommate, unless you guys are on different shifts. But uh, let's move into the room now, and I'll show you the features I was talking about. The first feature is going to be this tall ceiling. They have a really tall ceiling, and they have a fan and a light. And then the second feature is this window. This window is ginormous, and it goes along the whole wall and then comes over here. So if I move this curtain, there's another window. So it's like it kind of curves along the wall. And by doing that, it makes the room look a little bit bigger than what it is. But uh, So you're going to come in your room, and you're going to have a desk. Um, some of the rooms have a TV. So I have a, like a 32-inch flat-screen TV mounted on the wall. <laughs> so that's awesome. And uh, then you got a fridge, and you have a little nice nightstand right there. And then you're going to have your bed. It's a twin-size bed, you know, just enough for you. And uh, then you're going to have uh, some some clothes space, I guess, under the bed. So if I move the sheets here, you got like four drawers under there that you can put your clothes in. Uh, you're going to have another dresser over here with three more drawers and a nice lampshade or lamp. And uh, then you got a nice walk-in closet where you can hang all your uniforms up so they can get wrinkled. Uh, and a lot more shelf space. So you got shelves up there, shelves here, shelves all the way down to the floor. And then you got a nice little stack of them so you can put whatever you want there so right now I'm putting all my clothes here and all my knickknacks all my toiletries and whatnot in there but uh, I guess that's it for this dorm tour it's not much but it's livable 
and you get your own space. So for those of you that, that are going to tech school and you're either sharing a room with two or one person, you know, I was sharing a room with one person and towards the end I had two roommates because they triple bunked us. So if you're triple bunked or even just share a room with one roommate, this is nice. Now you have your own living area. You can walk around naked for all I care and for all anybody cares because you have to shut your door and it's locked. So when you're not here, your roommate can't get in your room because you need your own cat card or whatever the building gives you to get into your room. So nobody's going to get in your room and things like that. So you have your own little living space. But uh, let me just put this camera down and end the video here. So um, hopefully that's not in the way of anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, it's not much, but uh, I made this video for you guys. Uh, so you guys know what, you, what to expect when you get here. But uh, thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up video if this video helped out. And until next time, this is Southmaster Craig signing off. Peace out, guys.